My name is Leslie, and um, I'm going to be talking about how to include parents in the children's ministry. Um, raise your hand if you love your parents. All right, I love my parents. Okay. And <laughs> Um, so first um, key uh, into, uh, to including parents in children's ministry is communication. Um, in order for your, uh, for your parents to want to be a part of the children's ministry and um, what you're doing with the kids, you got to communicate with them. So communicating and uh, asking your pastor to give you five, ten minutes to do a children's ministry presentation or an, an announcement. And um, basically you're telling your uh, parents what uh, events that you're holding within the ministry, what your vision is. Um, you want the parents to fully grasp what you're doing within the ministry so that they would want to be a part of it. Okay? Um, you can do uh, text messages, phone calls, social media. There's so many things that you can do to reach out to your parents to um, grab a hold of them so that they would want to be a part of um, the children's ministry. Um, and one, one that I really love is just old-fashioned conversation, right? Um, parent comes to pick up their child, you know, take, take a moment to talk to them, draw them in. Um, maybe if, if one of the children is, um, ha was having a hard time that day, just, you know, take the time to talk to that parent. Um, see, maybe they, they had a rough morning or whatever it may be. Um, take initiative and, you know, talk to the parent um, and uh, that'll help, right? Um, secondly is put parents to work, right? Uh, Shelly talked a lot about, um, you know, the, um, the cross-generation, cross right? So um, it's sort of the same thing, you know, get, get, get in touch with the parents. Um, find out, figure out what their talents and what their gifts are and, and put them to work. Um, we have um, parents at our church, um, we have one um, father who loves to take photos, okay, so I'm all over him, as, you know, asking him, can you come to this event, this event, and take pictures for me, and then I don't have to worry about asking anybody else to, uh, to take pictures, because I know I got a dad in there taking pictures for me, okay, um, my, my kids' ministry, we love to eat, right, and... Um, <laughs> I know my parents can cook, so I'm watching every time we, 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 we're cooking to see which mom is making this, which mom is that. So I take my time to go, hey, I saw you made that good old uh, spaghetti. Can you make us some? You know, can you hook it up? And so, you know, especially if you, if like Shelly said, you, you got no budget. I, I got no budget, okay? So I'm going to come and ask you, can you make me some spaghetti? Can you pick up some juice for me? You know? Hook it up, mom. So, um, you know, I never have to worry about food when it comes to events because I know there's two moms and a couple dads downstairs cooking for me, right? That's the hookup. And then, um, you know, uh, do, do special events that just focuses on the, on the parent and the child, right? So, like, Mother's Day, we do, like, a breakfast, the kids come in and they help us um, cook and then we invite the moms to come in and, um, and they eat together and they uh, bond, you know? And, and, and the moms love it. They, they love it that their kids are, are, are there and um, being a part of their day, right? Because it's Mother's Day. Um, the, last, the last one is equip the parents, right? You are the greatest children's ministry resource in your church. You know, you know a whole lot about what, you have a lot of tools that you can use to equip your parents about children's ministry. Um, some parents are struggling to teach their kids at home, but you have something that you can share with them to help them. That will bring them in. That will draw them in because they'll say to themselves, she cares about my child, so she cares about me too because she took the time to come and talk to me, right? And, and little things like that. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money to reach your parents. It's the little things that count. And even a phone call when one of the kids is, is missing that, 
weekend. Hey, mom, what happened to Jacob? Is he okay? Can I pray for him? Can I pray for you? It's, it's the little things that, that go a long way and that draws in our parents to want to support us in our vision and come alongside us and, and our ministry. And that's all I got to say. What's up? <laughs> Thank you.